This video is on a cure idea, use of ivermectin and nebulizer to treat COVID-19 proposed by Aisha Kafoor from Apsex Humayun Road, Travel Pindi and Javeria Kafoor from SNS Nast. Coronavirus can cause very mild symptoms like a common cold or in some cases severe disease. The new type of coronavirus called SARS-CoV-2 causes the disease COVID-19 so far having a fatality rate of around 17% with reference to closed cases. SARS-CoV-2 comes in via spike protein and binds to the AC2 enzyme. Together with AC2, it fuses into the cell membrane. The viral RNA gets out from the endosome takes over the host cell ribosome and starts making different protein molecules. The viral protein binds to special carrier molecules important alpha and important beta 1 to form important heterodimer complex. This complex is now able to enter the nucleus via nuclear pore complex. The viral protein separates from the complex and reduces the antiviral response of host DNA, thus leading to enhanced infection and replication of virus. Ivermectin acts as a potent inhibitor of SARS-CoV-2 as it binds to the important heterodimer, destabilizes it and prevents viral protein from binding to important alpha-beta-1 and thus from entering the nucleus. In class where cells were infected with SARS-CoV-2 followed by the addition of the drug Ivermectin, the RNA of SARS-CoV-2 was found to be reduced 5000 times in 48 hours. The results demonstrated that Ivermectin may be used as an antiviral against SARS-CoV-2. However, the safe amount of ivermectin is yet to be determined in preclinical trials to obtain effective results. Ivermectin oral tablets treat parasitic infections of intestinal tract and skin. However, it is noted that for effective treatment, Manifold overdose of ivermectin may be required. Moreover, it is further noted that ivermectin in bloodstream may cause neurotoxicity by targeting GABA gated chlorine channels in central nervous system of mammals. We hypothesize that oral tablet use of ivermectin may possibly not be as effective as in vitro since it has to reach the affected site via the bloodstream to block important heterodimer in cytoplasm of cells whereas the recent study in vitro does not involve such a situation. Therefore, targeted delivery of ivermectin is required to synthesize the experimented environment. Although ivermectin also comes as a cream or a lotion to apply on skin, however, it has never been used in nebulizer. Use of ivermectin solution in nebulizer is proposed to effectively treat COVID-19. The idea is to use safe quantity of ivermectin as an inhalant for people affected with COVID-19. The melting point of ivermectin is 155 degrees Celsius. It is however soluble in solvents like methanol and ethanol. Thus, a nebulizer can be used to inhale a safe amount of ivermectin dissolved in a solvent. The nebulizer will convert the liquid into a fine mist which is inhaled into the lungs. In this way, the antiviral drug is effectively carried through the respiratory tract to the affected site in lungs where it can fight against the virus. 
The advantage of proposed method is that targeted drug delivery to the affected site is possible to treat COVID-19. Aspects to further research on include preclinical testing and the quantity of ivermectin to be used in nebulizer. The idea was initially conceived on 10th April. It was submitted to National Health Hackathon on 12th April. However, it was not selected. It was submitted as short communication to the journal Antiviral Research on 15th April, but was returned on 18th April. Then we submitted it as a research letter to Journal of the American Academy of Dermatology on 18th April. However, it was returned on 21st April. Our work, being a hypothesis without any clinical trial, could be a reason for rejection. However, we strongly believe that if it is tested, it may prove to be a potential treatment for COVID-19. We are looking for patronage and are seeking for your feedback in the comment section below or via email. Please also watch our other video, Immunity Enhancement via Cell Culture to Treat COVID-19.